Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been gone for a little while. I had to take a bit of a break from some platforms because of some mental health reasons, but um, she's back and she has a glow up. As you can tell, this is my new suit, Azzy. Um, she's my main persona, as I talked about in my persona and characters video. She's not done yet, but she's done enough that I can wear her for a video and I really wanted to wear her, so here she is. She won't be on the channel all the time, you'll probably see Latte more than you'll see her. I just wanted to bring her out and show her off for a little minute, so she's going to be in this video. Hi! So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 fursuits. Ah, uh, because there's a lot of fursuits out there, but I wanted to narrow down my favourites to 10, which was hard. <laughs> so let's get into it. Starting off at number 10 is Kalura. made by Susan Marie Creations and I am a bit of a bias towards feline suits so I love this suit, it's such a nice cat suit, it's just so gorgeous. Um, I love the like mix between like uh, really like neutral kind of colours and then there's like a really bright colour in the middle so I 90% of my suits have that kind of colour scheme but um, no this suit is just really gorgeous, probably one of my female uh, First it crushes, I love her. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just a really cute suit. I wanted to show her off, so go follow her on all her social medias with her partner. They'll be in the description. Yeah, woo! Coming in at number nine is Rose. Rouge? Rogue? Rouge? Rouge? I'm gonna call it Rouge. So Rouge was made by Made For You, which is another suit maker who I really, really, really love. Um, this suit is just perfect wolf boy. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I just, again, another suit that I really, really love and who's very, very handsome and very, very handsome dog muted. Yeah, from what I'm aware of, I think his, his social medias are like a little bit not safe for work, like not too bad, but they're... He has some sort of not safe for work stuff on there. Um, just be aware of that before you go checking him out. Um, all the pretty suits are all Mercedes, and honestly, in hindsight, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Rouge, gorgeous, good boy, would give boobs, love him, cutie. I think this video is just going to be me and all my first suit crushes. I think this is what this video is going to become. Coming in at number eight is Gemstone. <laughs> A gemstone. Ah, this is a somewhat kind of old suit, and it was made by Poai, by the way. Made by Poai, and this suit is so gorgeous. The little stones in the cheeks, and her cute little expression. She's like exactly what I want my persona Ken to look like, like face wise. If I were to make Ken into a suit, that's very close to what I want to look like. She's just such a gorgeous suit, and I stand Poai for making such gorgeous partial suits. It's very hard to have a partial that still looks really really gorgeous at the same time so gemstone just hits out the mark with this and she's so gorgeous and i've been i i i've loved this suit since i joined the fandom i don't know who currently owns gemstone it's a bit of a mystery i haven't seen this suit anywhere else other than on Hawaii's white website so if anyone knows who gemstone belongs to then please tell me because i want to follow this suit a bit more <laughs> coming in at number seven is seven 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 <laughs> is Athio. Words. Uh, hmm. Athio is a wolf suit made by Twinkie Arts, who is one of my favorite first suit makers. Probably my favorite first suit maker, just in general. The blue. It's the blues and that look in his eyes. Oh, <laughs> Athio is one of my favourite pursuits. Um, just, I, again, another mix of like natural colours and then just this really bright colour in the middle that just hits out the mark. I love the like bright blue colours. I prefer fucking blue. Blue, 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 blue. Uh, the really bright, bright, <laughs> bright blue colours in the middle of uh, neutral colours. is always such a good look for some suits. It's amazing. Um, I need to figure out where they get their fur from, just for personal reasons. <laughs> No, Athio is gorgeous. I want to meet him and hug him. He's very beautiful. Um, 
What? Moving into number six is Taro the Griffin. This suit is especially special because uh, this is this is someone's first suit. If you know Naz Effect Studios, who makes already gorgeous plushies, then you'll no Tara the Griffin by now. It flooded social media for a while and people found this suit. It's so amazing. And to think that this is Nazi's like first suit isn't actually mind blowing. <laughs> like who what how? I need that talent, but I don't. <laughs> the suit can't see out of his eyes. So there's vents in the stripes and they see it at the mouth. Which is so confusing to me. I can't see it in my mouth at all. <laughs> so yeah, I love this suit. It's just so perfect. <laughs> move, I'll clap and move. This is one of the first Griffin suits I think I've ever seen, so good job for Nazifix, just... Woo! Up at number five is Saturn Husky. I don't actually know the full name of this suit, so I'm just gonna call him Saturn for now. Um, now when you look at this suit, you're probably gonna think, oh, it's just a cute suit. But this suit has interchangeable ears, so the ears can be taken off and moved to make him look like angry or like he's snarling, or his ears can get, can get pushed back, which is so cool. I've never seen anyone actually do that before with with fursuit magnets, so it's exciting to see how magnets can completely change the expression of a suit, not even in the eyes, but everywhere else too. This suit was made by Fur Furry Machine, who has been a long time favourite person maker of mine. Um, I should have put them in the fucking top 10 for suit makers. I can't believe I didn't, but nah, I love the suit maker and I love this suit and they're gorgeous and um, fursuit crush material, once again, I think I have a problem. Coming in at number four is the Tiger Twins. I know it's another ply suit, but shut up, they're a good maker and we want to stand them. The Tiger Twins, you've definitely seen if you're a furry and you're on Instagram, you have a hundred in these suits. There are two tigers, one is blue, one is pink, and they're twins. From what I'm aware of, these are the first digigrade full suits that Hawaii ever made. So um just take that in. Just just take that in. Fuck everyone. Fuck you all with all the good talent. I'll murder you out of jealousy. Oh, these two suits are just so gorgeous. It's a really good mix between like, like they're, they're kind of realistic, but they're still really, really cute. It's really hard to get realistic suits to also still look adorable because sometimes they're like, they're too realistic to look so adorable or they're actually come up as scary. But these suits, nah, these suits are amazing and they're so cute. Tiger representation. I'm a saber tooth, but tiger representation, you know. <laughs> Coming in at number three is King Hyena. spoke about King Hyena on this channel but I'm getting I'm gonna talk about him again because he's gorgeous. King Hyena was made by Merc Made For You and oh this suit all those markings oh, Christ it's so beautiful um there's also this photo of the suit inside out and like look at all those markings look at all those stripes that is a god tier level maker and I absolutely love Made For You it's a really good mix again between toony and realistic it's just such a nice such a nice mix and I, I'm not usually one for hyena suits but this one just I don't think his actual name is King Hyena, I think that was a nickname, I think the actual suit's name is um Boner <laughs> because this suit is a mer suit shoot me yeah their uh, twitter is extremely not safe for work and if you are young or don't like that don't go anywhere near their twitter <laughs> I had to get these from the made for you Instagram, so no penises for me. Hide. But despite that, this suit is still gorgeous. And yeah, beautiful suit. 10 out of 10 from me. Coming in at number two is the Maned Tiger Quad Suit. <laughs> quad suits are something that's rarely seen in the fandom, but I think the one person who does quad suits absolutely gorgeously is Beast Cub. Again, I can't believe I didn't include Beast Cub in my favourite fursuit makers. This fursuit maker is absolutely amazing and probably one of the most popular fursuit makers ever when it comes to absolutely stunning fursuits. There's so many suits 
on their site and I couldn't pick just one of them. It was so hard. Um, they have so many other gorgeous suits that I would have so put here, but this tiger quad suit is just brilliant. Sometimes we see quad suits, there's something not quite right. The arms may be too long or the kind of the posture is a bit weird or the head may be weird. Quad suits, I've never seen someone make as perfect quad suits as Beast Cub does. They are the owners of these types of suits. If you don't know what a quad suit is, it's basically a suit which can walk on four legs, like an actual animal. So it turns them from antler to feral, and that is amazing, and apparently they're really hard to function in, but I kind of want one, but also they're very expensive, so maybe not, or maybe one day. <laughs> from what I'm aware of, they also made a quad suit for Sniper, who's one of the uh, duchies in this fandom who's very popular, which is also another cool suit that I've seen. But this tiger is just so cute, and that little photo of them sitting with the cat is just, oh, I love it. I st again, I don't know who owns this suit, but if you do, please tell me, because I want to go stock them. <laughs> Coming in at number one is an amazing suit, who you all have probably seen before. It's Rio Lipidoptera. <laughs> Rio Lipidoptera. Rio Lipidoptera. Uh, <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. That is terrible. <laughs> Rio is probably my biggest female fursuit crush ever. <laughs> those markings and that airbrushing, those eyes, that just everything about that suit is so beautiful. It's like the perfect feminine suit that just. <sighs> However, again another suit that is a bit not safe for work so I if you're not a fan of that then maybe stay away from the Twitter but if you're okay with that then go straight ahead. Finding photos of the suit was interesting. Despite that this suit is like I'm lost for words. <laughs> the suit was made by themselves. They've also made another suit I think for their partner which is a very similar looking suit so don't get them mixed up too much. Rio is Big first at crush material and that pink colour is gorgeous and everything. They kind of remind me of a fairy, like of a fairy was also a cat and a fursuit. Rio. <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of my favourite suits ever. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> That's it. This feels like it was a short video. This feels very short. I don't know what I should... Should we just sit and beg for a bit, you know? Because this video feels like it's been short. Well, how long? 15 minutes without editing? Good Christ! That is crazy! Why did I go so fast? Uh, do you want to see uh, Azzy's tail? I'm just trying to get watch time. Do you want to see Azzy's tail? Fuck these paws. Um, I finished her tail recently and it's fucking mahoosive and it's heavy but it's fun and it took me forever to make. Please appreciate this big tail. Thank you. That'll be it for me and these big old posies. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!